Hello, it's Foreign News O'Clock on Hornies Nigeria. I am Okoyemi Ulubemi. Here are the headlines for today. Donald Trump arrives New York for court hearing. United States forces neutralize Islamic State leader in Syria. Now the news in detail. Donald Trump, United States former president and front runner for the Republican 2024 nomination, flew into New York City on Monday for an historic court appearance to face charges stemming from a probe into Osh money paid to a porn star. The former United States president on Monday made his way to the Trump Tower in Manhattan, where he would spend the night before attending court today. The exact charges he faces will be disclosed in full at a hearing at around 14.15 local time on Tuesday. Trump is the first United States president in history to be charged with a crime but has repeatedly denied wrongdoing. Ahead of Trump's arrival in New York, security measures were beefed up at Trump Tower and outside the courthouse. Law enforcement agencies, including the FBI, New York police and court officers and the Secret Service were said to be coordinating on security in anticipation of any scenario. At a press conference earlier on Monday, New York City Mayor Eric Adams said while there were no specific threats against the city. I want to make it clear, uh, the commissioner has stated it over and over again, there has been no specific, specific credible threats to our city at this time. Trump was last week indicted by Manhattan grand jury, according to multiple sources, familiar with the matter. The first time in American history that a current or former president has faced criminal charges. But in a swift reaction, Trump had released a statement in response to the indictment claiming it was political persecution and election interference at the highest level in history. The former president faces more than 30 counts related to business fraud. The indictment, according to two sources familiar with the case, the indictment had been filed under seal and would be announced in the coming days. In other news, the United States carried out a military operation that killed a senior Islamic State leader in Syria on Monday. The United States Central Command, CENTCOM, said in a statement early on Tuesday. According to the statement, Khalid Ayyid Ahmad al-Jaburi was responsible for planning ISIS attacks into Europe and develop the leadership structure for ISIS. Last week, the TAS news agency said Russia had protested the American-led coalition against the Islamic State militant group about provocative actions by the United States armed forces in Syria. No civilians were killed or injured in the strike, CENTCOM said, and added that the group continues to represent a threat to the region and beyond. And that's it on today's news. To keep up with All News Nigeria, kindly follow us on all social media platforms displayed on the screen. We'll be back with more news updates tomorrow. Until then, stay tuned. I am Okoye Do have a lovely evening.